Hey everyone, BaseDS here, and welcome back to more Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2. Last time, we made our way through Sky Fortress Zone and ended up cornering Eggman, but unfortunately, he ended up escaping into space, so it's time to go ahead and give chase after him and move on to the final zone of the game. So now it's all come down to this. We're here in Death Egg Mark 2 Zone. And essentially, this was Eggman's endgame from the very beginning. Everything he did in Episode 1 was just a plan to stall for time until Little Planet eventually returned, and when it did, he would use it as the basis for his newest Death Egg. But, much like the original, we're going to knock this place out of commission. But luckily, there are no Bannocks here whatsoever to deal with, so that's a plus. Although we will have two impromptu boss fights, but nothing we can't handle. And we've got the anti-gravity gimmick from the Sonic 3 and Knuckles rendition of Death Egg Zone returning, so that's a nice touch. But Act 1 is generally pretty short. It's not going to be that long. But right now, we need to focus on the problem at hand, because we are about to get double teamed. We're taking on Metal Sonic and the Egg Deflector. So, Metal Sonic is essentially going to be your main target because you can't do anything to the Egg Deflector. If you try jumping on it, it'll just bounce you back. So now, granted, if you weren't Super Sonic, you would really have to watch out with how Eggman uses the Egg Deflector to either run into you or literally drop it right on top of you. So, yeah, then this fight could be a little bit hard. But at the same time, you also need to watch out for Metal Sonic's energy blast that he fires off. But luckily, since we were Super Sonic, we were able to end this fight a bit prematurely, so that's a plus there. Didn't really want to have it drag out for too long. But let's go ahead and make our way through the final section of the act. Alright, we'll just come on over to here. And we're not going to go that way just yet. We need to come up here. That way we can get that last red star ring of the game. Alright, come on Tails, let's book it. So now, this part right here is essentially going to force you to properly use the copter combo because you're also going to be fighting the anti-grav. And it can be a little bit troublesome if you don't know how to properly time your flight patterns correctly. Believe me, I know. I've gotten stuck in one area or two because of I didn't get everything timed right. But luckily, that does not seem to be the case here. Alright, we're reaching the end of the act. So as we come to the end and come down here, Metal Sonic wants to race. He wants revenge for what happened last time. So let's go ahead and give it to him. But keep in mind, you also need to watch out for the shutters that come down because they can kill you if you're not careful. And let's go ahead and go super just to make the rest of the race easier. But, just like in Sonic CD, the race unfortunately ends with him careening straight into a wall. Except in this case, the damn thing's electrocuted. So, yeah, that's gotta hurt. That definitely had to have fried some circuits. But hey, we'll see him in Knuckles Chaotix. He'll be fine. But now it's time to take on Eggman himself, so let's just go ahead and collect a few rings along the way. Because we're going to need every single one of them. And let's just fly down here real quick and get this shield. And ignore what that sign says, go left instead. Otherwise you're going to be missing out on a good amount of rings. 
And now we've literally come to the core of the Death Egg Mark II. It's time to take on the Egg Heart. So, this initial fight starts out easy, but the more damage you deal to the Egg Heart will cause the fight to definitely have a bit of a difficulty increase as it progresses. So essentially what we need to do is run along the three outer rings that we have here to get towards the Egg Heart and be able to deal damage to it. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and grab as many rings as I can get here. And you do not want to hit the bottom part of the egg heart. Otherwise, you're going to get punctured by the spikes and electrocuted at the same time. So, uh, keep that in mind. But yeah, as the fight progresses, eventually there'll be sections of the rings to where they'll be electrocuted. So, you've really got to watch out for your movements. And I believe after about every two hits, Eggman will go ahead and toss us around and he'll use these orbs to go ahead and change the movement direction of the rings themselves. So that can make things a little bit problematic. But you don't want to spend too long trying to get up to the middle ring. Otherwise, the Egg Heart will create a black hole and it'll just slam you down right into the bottom ring and cause you to lose your rings. So, yeah... Not exactly a walk in the park here. Uh, no. Okay, can I go ahead and do this? There we go. Alright. There we go. And let's go ahead and go supersonic. Try and get the most out of him as we can here. Okay, I was trying to get those rings, but all right. And I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of being supersonic. That way I can go ahead and do the rolling combo to take out this shield. It's the only way to take that thing out. All right, so what are you going to do next, Eggman? All right. Okay, rolling combo into the shield, and boom! Let's transform... And with that, the Egg Heart is down and out. And so, that'll pretty much go ahead and put a stop to Eggman's plans. So now that we've essentially taken out the core of the Death Egg Mark II, that means the place is starting to come down. So it's time to go ahead and retreat out of this place. And with that, we come to the end of the Sonic the Hedgehog 4 duology. As I've said before, not many people were too happy about how this game played, mainly Episode 1, and of course, it bearing the name Sonic 4, but... I say, forget the naysayers, forget the classic purists. To me, this is Sonic 4, and I'm fine with that. Granted, I do wish that Episode 1 had been done in the same engine as Episode 2 was, which, let's be honest, Episode 2 looks absolutely beautiful, but I digress. As I said with Episode 1, they were trying to fit it on as many consoles as they could, so I can understand what they were trying to do at the time. But anyway, even though we ended up taking out the Death Egg Mark II, it's still there in space, and on top of that, 
it still has a little plant deep inside of it. So, I want to say that this was because of Episode 3's cancellation and that they didn't go ahead and add in the actual good ending you would get in which I would say the Death Egg Mark II would be destroyed and such little plant would be free. I'm not exactly sure on that. But uh, one theory I do have is that when Episode 3 was being thought of, because of some files that were still found in the game's data, it would suggest that we would have gone back to Angel Island and encountered Knuckles again. So I want to say that maybe, even though we ended up stopping the Death Egg Mark II here, it would lose all its power and Little Planet would still be trapped inside of it. So Eggman probably would have tried to have gone back after the Master Emerald in order to go ahead and reboot the Death Egg Mark II. I'm not exactly sure, but... Unfortunately, we'll never know. I really would have loved to see how everything would have played out in Episode 3. I really do, but... Unfortunately, Sega gave in to the negative fan reaction, and as such, Episode 3 was cancelled, and we will likely never see it whatsoever. And really, to me, that's just a damn shame, because I enjoyed these games. I really did. I have just as much fun with them as I did the originals, and heck... I enjoy Sonic Mania as much as I do Sonic 4, so I mean, that's a plus right there. But yeah, with this, we are done with Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Except for now, we still have one other bit to quickly go through, but we'll handle that later. But as far as things for Sonic and Tails go, this is where their adventure stops, and that means Eggman's gonna be going straight to Isolated Island after this. But until next time, thank you all for watching, I hope you're enjoying things so far, and I'll see you all again later because we still need to find out how Metal Sonic came back in the first place. So, I'll see you all again later in Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Episode Metal.